Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in February, I posted a video letting you know that a month after Microsoft had rolled out the now infamous security update for Windows 10, KB5034441, the error that the update was causing for many users of Windows 10 was still not fixed. And this is the update which rolled out with the Patch Tuesday security updates in January 2024. Now, just a quick side note. If you want more information about this update, 503 I'll leave a playlist in the end screen because it'll give you all the information you need um, regarding this update, what the area is all about, how to deal with the update, and so on. So go check that out if you'd like some more info. Now, the reason I'm posting this video is because I have seen quite a lot of comments on the channel where um, I've been asked regarding, has a fix been rolled out for this update yet or not? And the short answer is no. Now, just to let you know that obviously we found ourselves now on the 9th of April in my region and three months or so after Microsoft rolled out the update, there is still not a fix yet um, for KB503441. Now, a quick recap regarding the update for the purpose of this video. 503 is a compulsory mandatory update that Microsoft rolled out to fix recovery partition security issues on Windows 10. But as mentioned previously, this update is not installing for many users on Windows 10. Now, it did manage to install on my device, but that's more the minority than the majority of the cases most of the time. It's failing to install for a lot of users due to the fact that there's not enough free storage in the recovery partition, which you can find heading over to your disk management tool by searching for create and format hard disk partitions on Windows 10. And yeah, in the disk management, you get all the partitions that are available on your device. So just a quick recap. And this can take a second or two to load depending on your device. So here is the problem with the recovery partition. So for a lot of users, this hasn't enough um, storage or there's not enough free storage in the recovery partitions for that update to install and as I have posted previously if you have the know-how you can increase this partition to at least one gigabyte which should then get the update to install but go check that playlist out as mentioned um, there's a lot more info there and this recovery partition can either be here to the left or to the right depending how your setup is mine's here to the left because I dual boot this machine so as mentioned, that playlist will be in the end screen. Now, the latest is, according to an article by Windows Latest, that um, Microsoft isn't planning to make an easier fix or update to automatically solve this problem anytime soon. Because um, there have been sources that have been reaching out to Microsoft where that is the case. And when they reached out to Microsoft, Microsoft referred them to the existing support document, which is a long... Um, PowerShell script you can try and run as an example to solve the issue and um, resize your recovery partition but you'll check that out in those videos I have posted previously in that playlist. So at this stage it's not known why the update cannot be fixed or the issues it's causing are not being fixed. Um, the last video I posted, well not the last video but a video I did post um, a couple of days after the update was rolled out on the 15th of January this year was that Microsoft was working on a fix for Windows 10 KB5032441 failing to install, but that's the last we have officially heard from Microsoft regarding this issue. So I am a little bit so-called dumbfounded, for want of a better word, that Microsoft hasn't been able to fix this update yet. And as mentioned, according now to this post, they aren't planning to make an easier fix at this stage or, up, or rolling out an update to solve the problem anytime soon. So... Um, Officially from Microsoft, though, they haven't given us any more news regarding what I posted back in January where they were working on a fix. So at this stage, the official news from Microsoft is that they are still working on a fix. So for some unknown reason, they cannot actually address the issue. But according to this post, and the latest is that they are not planning to solve the problem anytime soon. So I just wanted to put it out there because I have seen a lot of comments on the channel because a lot of um, users are so-called left in the dark regarding this issue. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.